so we are deep down inside phase on mines we're on level three here um, things have gotten darker so we have to use the x-ray visor to actually see otherwise we'll end up having tunnel vision um, I mean you can kind of see your way around here without it but there's some invisible stuff that you have to bomb out anyway and the only way you can really see that is with the x-ray visor so is this best to use the x-ray visor to see where things are down here <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do I mean it's kinda hard to see where the metroids are though unless you get right up close to them but, but you don't want to get right up close to them because then they'll end up attaching themselves to your face <clears throat> so you won't be able to see and they'll end up sucking your life away as well as the phase on down here which is doing the same thing hey where was that? oh dang it <laughs> that was too close man the reaction speed on that was incroyable INCROYABLE! Can I jump up onto this? Yes I can. Alright, what is that I'm targeting? Oh, it's a Metroid that I managed to freeze. Then he unfroze himself as soon as I shot a missile at him. God dang it. Oh, we got gliders in here, which are enemies, well not enemies, but things that we saw in uh, Fendrana Drifts. Um, we need to actually t hitch a ride on that. So, I'm going to quickly do this, and I'm going to show you a room here that you can come to if you really need it, but it's one of those rooms that don't appear often, and I have mentioned these rooms before, and it is a missile station, so this is the other missile station, and there is only one other missile station in the game besides this one, and that is in the final area of the game, so... If you're running low on missiles, count your lucky stars that they managed to place one conveniently for you in in here. But Chozo Ruins and Phazon Mines are the only areas accessible to us that have <coughs> missile stations. They're also rare to find in um, the second game as well. In fact, wait, do they even have missile stations in the second game? I honestly can't remember. Dang it, I don't have any power bombs. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, that... No, 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 no! <laughs> I need power bombs to bomb that freaking hole out. If I don't have power bombs, then I can't get that missile expansion. So what am I to do? Well, you can actually see the... You know what, I didn't know you could do that. What the hell? You can see the Chozo Art effect from here. That is wicked cool, I didn't know you could actually see that. Alright, that's the first time I've actually noticed that. Um, maybe because playing on the TV it looks more blue, so it's hard to distinguish where it is. Alright, so I guess uh, for now, because I can't really go powerbomb grinding as such, I'm just going to press on then. And we might get power bombs in some of the rooms up ahead, so then I can just come back in here and grab some. Well, speaking of which, we got invisible pulse bomb boos in here. And the only way you're going to see these is with the echo. Why do I keep calling it the echo visor? I guess it's because the echo visor and um, the x-ray visor are very similar looking, well kind of, well, I wouldn't say they're similar because, well the x-ray visor is blackish if you look into the distance, but if you look up close it's all white and everything, whereas the echo visor is completely black. So we got lucky to actually pick ourselves up a power bomb, some power bomb ammunition there so I could actually bomb that out because I don't want to have to come all the way back down here for that, that would be stupid. However, we gotta make our way back out of the phase on again. Which kinda of blows and then hitch another ride on this thing. No, oh, don't leave me. Okay, which way is it? Is it down here? I think it's down here. Oh dang it! <laughs> I overshot my jump. Shoot. <clears throat> okay, that sucks. Wow, I've wasted so much time in this one room here. When I could have been doing so much more stuff. 
Well, I'm still hoping to get to at least the boss room in the studio. I should definitely, definitely be able to make it to the boss room in the studio. Well, have they respawned, really? Of course they did. I don't think there are any more in here, so you're fine. Just have another look around to... Okay, let's get the plasma beam out here. Shoot this door open. Oh, right, here we go. This is where we're going to encounter plasma troopers. Wow, that lagged a little bit there for some reason. I don't know what that was all about. <coughs> so yeah, plasma troopers are a nuisance, because the only way you can kill these is just by charge shooting. You can't use super missiles, you can't use anything against them other than the actual power of the beam. The cool thing about the plasma beam is it has such long range, it's ridiculous how long range it is, and it comes out really fast too. It's a fast shooting weapon. I mean, Plasma the plasma beam definitely seems to have more pros than cons compared to the ice beam, definitely. Um, and here's me saying that the ice beam is better. Because, I mean, if you want to use the ice beam for its fullest potential, you have to use missiles to actually, you know, do the trick with it. Whereas the plasma beam does equal amount of damage and you don't have to use missiles. Oh, we got wave troopers, we got a mix of troopers in here. Um, and there is space pirate data in here too, so I'm gonna have to scan that as well. Down there's a save station, so I'm definitely gonna go in there before engaging the boss fight. Which I'm gonna save for the next episode, I'm not gonna do that in this video. And also, if you use your X-ray visor, I think you can actually see the um, through the cordite here. Yeah, you can see through it. So just get your super missile out, shoot it open. And there's a missile expansion. So we're, how much space power data is in here? Well, there's one right there. Um, that might actually be all that there is. If that's the case, then that's fine. I'm hoping to do this flawlessly, this boss battle. Like, I'm hoping to get at least a decent run on it and not take up too much of the next video fighting it. Because I don't want to die multiple times. Because this is definitely one of the more harder bosses in the game. I think this boss is probably just as hard as Ridley in some cases. troopers. Alright, so what you want to do here, you can see that there's a barrier here, and you're probably wondering, well, how the hell are you supposed to open that? Well, you can see that there's ice up here that's basically blocking our access to opening this up. So just shoot it open and thaw out, thaw out the ice, and the barrier will open up for you. Alright, so I think this is a good place to end off the video, so um, in the next episode of Let's Play Metro Prime, we will be taking on the boss in this room in the next video. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care, what is the next video, and goodbye.